It was quite some time, and uh, all these years later, in the band out there, t- tell me at this point, for you, and, and, and I guess all the years later, to still be doing this and to still have the audience the way you do, and the way that you're beloved at this point. You know, it's a thrill. It's, it's the best feeling in the world. Uh, as, we, as we roll over from 2018 to 2019, I know I'm, I know I'm pushing things, because it's still in February, but, uh, you know, Priest is going to be celebrating 50 years of heavy metal next year so is that is that a crazy idea just to think about this is just the 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 power and and the, the strength and the love and the support that priest has had from our wonderful fans here in, in the united states and around the world to keep us going keep us motivated it's like sports you know nesta you and i've talked about the equation um we thrive on what our fans give us back from the from the work that we we put out either on the court or on, or on the stage so it's the best feeling in the world, man. And we've got the Firepower album about to drop, 18 studio albums in, big tour about to kick off, and uh, things couldn't be better. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the anthem is going to be quite the, the scene. I, I know you probably have heard of the legend of what they've tried to build, which is the perfect kind of hall to have anyone from the Killers uh, to uh, uh, Lord to bringing in the legend of Priest. I mean, you guys built this thing back in the 70s in clubs. Uh, you know, it expanded into arenas, as we remember you uh, back in the 80s, and you've taken it all over the world. I, you know, I don't know a room you guys can't go in and just turn it up. And, uh, and make it work. Is, is there something you prefer at this point? I mean, you've played every kind of venue there is. Uh, I think there's something to be said for stadiums and playing in places like South America, Eastern Europe, where there's just this engaged audience. Uh, and, and I guess there's something about some intimacy of, uh, of playing some new smaller venues as well. You know, it's so important to kind of pay your dues with doing every conceivable shape, size, room that you can reach into, and that's certainly what Priest did in the early days, particularly here in America. You know, we, we started touring in the, in the mid-late 70s, and there was already a fan base for us due to this great reach of, of, of radio. And so, yeah, you know, any place we could plug the power source into, Priest would be firing up. And it's true. I mean, we, we still mix it up. We're doing festivals. We're headlining festivals this year in various parts of the world. We're doing our own um, tours in, in, in various capacity venues. It's nicer sometimes to jump into a venue that's, that's, uh, that has a, a more of an intimate vibe because it takes you back, you know. But that bit that you just said about the kind of trying to get... See, I love festivals because there's an amazing atmosphere about them, but you've really got to know how to work that stage to make it connect to, you know, 50, 60, 70,000 people. However, it does connect, and they're wonderful events, um, and it's a mix-up of different talent that you're working with, so it's a great night out for a festival. But when, you, when you're in this one-on-one environment, when you, you, you can kind of sweat over the front row, <laughs> and, you know, you can scream into each other's face, it's so primal, and it really has the best components and, and elements of what heavy metal is. In a, in a purest form, you know, this heavy metal feeling of, of power and controlled aggression and this exchange of emotions and this feeling of unity, as we call it, the heavy metal community, the fans and the bands coming together united in something so strong as the heavy metal spirit. It's all a blessing, man. It really is. It's the best feeling. Man, you just used the word united in a conversation with me, Rob Halford. You know, give me something on that song and some Genesis because I have some dear friends of mine who rolled the British steel up and down Bank Street and Colgate and Dundalk back in the day. And that was literally the theme song of what we uh, referred to then as the Brew Crew, uh, uh, Rob. You know, it crosses over, doesn't it, Master? You, you, no matter where you get in life, it has to generally be with somebody by your side or a team of people, a team of players, a team in, in a band, in, in work, at school, family. You all have to have this element of unification. And so this beautiful song, United, really talks about that. It talks about, in, in some instances in the words, if I can remember them, it, it talks <laughs> about taking on any kind of challenge and overcoming it because you're united together to face difficulties and to, to get through it and to be, you know, and, and, and to, to move up and to move ahead and be victorious, be 
be positive, be a champion. You know, it's it's all rolled into this this great feeling of of what the song United talks about. Well, you know, when I think about your life, and uh, the, the last time I be believe I was in the room with you was in August of 86 uh, on, on the Turbo Tour, and then after that, uh, there was a, a 1990 tour at the Capitol Center. And, you know, through all of this, your life, I mean, from the drugs, the alcohol, the leather, the, the metal, the sexuality, the court cases, the misinterpretation of your music, the road, the redemption, to still be alive and doing it and to have... To these stories to tell and to, to talk about festivals, right? I mean, you were just trying to get a gig back in the day in a place, you know, uh, back in the 70s and get a contract and have one album and have one song that someone ever came up and sang to you. The fact that festivals are doing this and that you've done a lot of good for the world and heavy metal, uh, you know, through all of these years has been bound together. And I think the internet has brought people together through music in so many ways to save lives and all sorts of incredible stories uh, to stand at the Godfather part of that it's I mean it's been an incredible ride for you man it is and it's a miracle man I mean you just referenced some very important points in in, in my life personally and uh, that are obviously correct, uh, connected directly to priest so you know uh, the backbone of all of this is this um, it's this determination it's this um, it's this uh, this feeling inside of you that there's that there's something more to do. It's it's not kind of laying back on your laurels of success. You know, it's ambition still. It's it's uh, it's self motivate self motivation that that can only really to some extent come from you. You're responsible, and then you take the great gifts that that your friends that surround you. You take the great gifts of support and encouragement from them, like we just had with a great production team of Tom and Andy and, and, and Mike, to get these things out of us. You know, there, it, again, I, I, I always equate it to sports because if, if, you have the, if you have the ability there, if you have the seed inside of you, that's important. But you, again, um, you, get, you get so far, and then you need to look at the opportunities that are available by people that can see and feel the little something that by their coaching, they coach it out of you, they coach that, that other note that you're trying to reach, they coach the, that way that you hit the drums a little bit stronger. All of these, all of these things are embodied into the survival of Judas Priest uh, to the point that we're at now to celebrate all of that with the release of Firepower. Well, you know, as a fan and as a guy who did this 30 years ago and talking to people like you and creating these incredible memories, um, some, some folks have been lost along the way, and I don't need to tell you of where we've been with ACDC recently, and you look up Prince and different artists, and then the word comes about Glenn for your band, and, uh, you know, when I set this interview up with you uh, six, eight weeks ago, you know, uh, we, we didn't know. Uh, clearly, this has been something that uh, has been on all of your minds, and, and now on the minds of the fans, and I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about at it at this point and just how things are and uh, I, I would think that for you on the inside this is uh, uh, it's very emotional maybe even more so clearly than to the fans to go out and perform at this point but knowing that this is what you do when you march on and this is what everyone wants but this is not an easy point for for where priest is in its history right you know i'm going to take this opportunity with your show uh Nestor on wnst to thank everybody for that incredible outpouring of love and support to Glenn, um, mostly through various uh, portals in social media, phone calls, letters, the lot. Glenn has been swamped, you know. Um, here's the thing, and you've mentioned another couple of bands that have been through the, these challenges before. This kind of all rolls into how this great discussion that we're having about this, 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 um, this feeling, this opportunity that we have, that the show must go on. You have to be able to take the next step forward, no matter what the difficulty is in life, because it's easy to quit. It's the simplest, the simplest thing in the world to quit. If you have the strength, and again, surrounded by people that support you to move ahead, like Glenn has been doing for 10 years, man, He's been with Parkinson's, has been in his body for 10 years, and you wouldn't believe 
the struggles that he's been having, but he's been able to write, he's been able to tour, he's been able to record. It's only been in these last few days that he's that he's accepted that from his uh, from his place that he's at in his life now, and this is typical of Glenn. The band has to go on. The band must tour. I want the band to get out on the road and play these songs that we've done on Firepower and everything else that we love about Priest. We have to keep the band going. You know, that's just an incredible um, display of his love uh, for Priest, for the fans, for the music. It's everything rolled into one. So Glenn is doing good. He can still play guitar, albeit in, in, a, in, his, in his fashion that works best for him. And the good news is that, as we've said in the statement, Nesta, um, now and again, he'll show up at a show and he'll come out and he'll play a couple of tunes. How great is that? You know, that's another display of strength and power from Glenn as he moves on in his life dealing with the issues that he has. What do you love about it at this point, Rob? I mean, you to your point, you don't have to be doing this, and uh, obviously it's something you, that earns a living but also needs to be enjoyed. But it's also, uh, you know, I think for anyone that looks at a tour schedule and just has ever been on a road anywhere doing anything, th this is a very difficult thing to move an operation around, and, uh, uh, and it really is a, a hell of a commitment. And more than that, to your point, you talk about the athletic part of it and the sports part of it, going out and performing and singing these songs the way that you want to sing them and perform them, uh, it's a lot different than probably doing it back in the 80s for you. It is a lot. A lot, of it is, a lot of it is the same, but a lot of it is different, certainly in respect that time marches on. Um, for, for a singer like myself, you, you have to stay in, in, as, in as best shape as you can, you know. Uh, and, and I look after what I eat. I, I, I get my exercise in. And it's mental as well as physical. You have to get all the you have to get all the components in the right place to be able to deal with the mental side of, of, of touring and being able to go on stage night after night, place after place all over the world to deliver the goods, as we say in priest, you know. <laughs> We're going everywhere on this tour again. We love you, our fans, you are our lifeblood. We're doing this for you and we're doing it for us for ourselves, obviously. But we can't go out on these tours without our beautiful fans, you know. So it's a balance of great harmony and love and support and respect for each other that keeps us motivated and gets us ready to close the door, <laughs> turn the lock, and come back in about a year and a half, you know, having gone around the world a couple of times, which is what we're about to do. But it's a joy, man. I'm not grumbling. Nobody's complaining. It's just, um, it's just the start of another adventure for Judas Priest with the new music from Firepower. So tell me how we put a set list together all these years later, oh, Rob. Oh, man, don't go with that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you know, it's the hardest thing in the world to do, right? Yeah, man. Hundreds and hundreds of songs. You know, um, Priest is a, is, a, is a working heavy metal band, so we're out supporting our newest music. But if we didn't play Breaking the Law, <laughs> I, think, I think the anthem would be, beat, would be getting well beaten up. It, you know, living after midnight, painkiller. You know, the, all of all of these beautiful songs that 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 are in, uh, part of the embodiment of the life of Judas Priest. We're going to blast those those out to you guys again and again and again. We love playing those songs, and of course, again with the new songs uh, as well. You know, it's it's harder and harder to get the best set list for everybody. But we, we've got some we've got some good tunes on this. Um, on this upcoming tour, tour, Nesta. I hope you'll be there in the front row throwing up the, 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 the heavy metal horns and banging your head <laughs> to living up to midnight when we come into town. Oh, Anthem, indeed. Hey, remember now, you're coming to the home of heavy metal parking lot, right? So it's where That's all true. the magic began at the Capitol Center many, many years ago, Rob. Yeah, absolutely. They've got a rich history with, with the, the Baltimore area. And I'm the same no matter where we go, you know. All of these beautiful places that we're going to visit here in the United States and elsewhere, we've been we've been to you guys multiple times. You know, I know what, I know the hotel that I'm going to be staying at <laughs> when we get to Baltimore. I know as I turn left, there's probably a uh, 
There's a Starbucks on the left, and you cross the street, and there's a McDonald's. <laughs> and that'll make, that's me, I'm happy. You must you be know? in America <laughs> somewhere, I, I think, yeah, Rob, yeah. at some point. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it, it was great visiting with you, and even more so, you're bringing the boys from Saxon over, who were another one of my favorites from many moons ago. So it's going to be quite the celebration with the Black Star Riders and the Judas Priest fellas bringing it back, and Rob Halford, we're really excited about it. I, I'm really, really pleased you took some time to visit with us here again. And many, many moons ago, uh, I had the almost famous role of sitting down with you as an 18-year-old aspiring music critic. It feels good to still be young, Rob. <laughs> That's the, it's the best feeling in the world, buddy. Keep playing the metal. Thank you so much for defending the fight at WNST, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you on the 18th. There he goes, Rob Halford of Judas Priest. You can follow them out on Twitter. You can find out all about the tour, all about everything they're doing. The Firepower Tour is there, and of course the, the news about Glenn Tipton as well. Uh, but uh, there you have it, right from Rob Halford himself. March 18th down at Anthem. I have not been to Anthem yet, so this is going to be my... I wanted to do something special the first night at Anthem, and there's, there might be some things going on that night to follow along on Twitter and Facebook. I don't know, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Love Saxon as well. So it's awesome uh, of everyone that made that happen. I do appreciate the uh, rock and roll community coming together and supporting me, my show, our station, and doing a bunch of rock and roll around here. We're not just sticking to sports. We're going to have a whole bunch of Ravens, a whole bunch of Orioles, Terps, Caps. We're doing all that stuff. Coach Trotz doing a, a charity turn with us next month uh, as well for the Bone Marrow Registry for There Goes My Hero. But... In the meantime, we will take a little time to mix a little heavy metal, a little hard rock, a little folk rock, a little jazz rock, you know, whatever it is. If, I'm a, if, if a musician wants to talk to me, I want to talk to them. How about that? So uh, also the charities and the community conversation, as all brought to you by Howard Bank, coming soon on Thursday mornings. If you have a 501c3, if you're involved in anything charitable in the community locally and you want a little bit of shine, a little bit of time to tell your story, I'd love to tell your story on WNST. You can toss me an email, nasty at WNST.net for that. For all the sports people, and I can't believe like Halford mixed that sports thing right on in with performing and all that. It's a lot of fun to talk to Rob Halford from Judas Priest. Uh, all my memorabilia is up on my Facebook uh, at uh, Nestor Aparicio on Facebook, on Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Instagram. I think we're pretty much everywhere. We're also out in the buyatoyota.com audio vault 24 hours a day from anywhere in the world for all the sports stuff we talk about and all of our conversations. I've had some great book authors this week. We've had uh, Ed O'Bannon on doing Court Justice. We've had uh, Alex Hutchinson on with Endure. I had Pat Williams on talking about his new John Wooden book. So we've done some stuff around here in addition to Michael Schenker uh, uh, joining us and his band, uh, several bands from MSG coming together at the Fillmore next month as well. So we're mixing it up around here. Stick around. We're going to make you proud. Nasty at WNST.net finds me. Our morning newspaper ships to your email inbox each and every morning at 7 a.m. It's all brought to you by our friends at Planet Fitness and PlanetFitness.com, where it's still 10 bucks a month to get in the best shape of your life guaranteed. Uh, last but never least, the Orioles aren't trading Manny Machado, but if they did... Or if they do, you'll get it first on the WNST tech service. That's all brought to you by Coons Ford of Security Boulevard. I am Nestor. We are WNST.net, AM 1570, and WNST Towson, Baltimore. And we never stop talking. Baltimore sports.